Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire in your veins. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2016 most anticipated reads. So, of course, there are going to be some that are not on this list because I have already purchased them and read them. And then there are a few on this list that have already come out, but I haven't gotten to yet. And I haven't gotten a chance to purchase them or borrow them. So, yeah. I am going to say right at the start of this video that I am not going to put pictures here. Because I have 37 books on this list, I think. That is a lot of pictures. That is a huge file size that would take hours to upload onto YouTube. I can't do it. My internet is poop here. We have very faulty wiring in the house. We have learned that it's nothing to do with our actual cable company or our actual internet. It's the wiring in this house. It sucks. I'm sorry. So let's just get into this and I am very very excited to do this. So I will mention that some of the books on this list would have been Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Um, Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard and Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. I have read one of them. I am currently reading one of them and one of them is on my TBR for March. Yeah. But let's just get into the books that I have not gotten or that I have arcs of and that I haven't read yet. <laughs> so the first one is Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. This came out on January 5th, um, but I have not gotten a chance to purchase it. I was going to purchase it, but I hated the Target copy with that fake Target sticker. Was not getting it. I can't stand stickers on books, so that fake one that you would never, like, that's part of the cover, I would never, it would bug me so bad. So I'm waiting on it. I'm going to probably get it at Barnes & Noble coming soon. But yeah, couldn't do it. The second book on my list is The Siren by Kira Cass. Uh, I think this came out the same day as another book, or it was close to Rent Week and I couldn't get it. So I just haven't gotten it, and I'm on hold at the library to read it. Um, but this came out on January 26th, and I am very excited to read it. I will definitely eventually purchase my own copy because Kira Cass. Yeah. I'm also finally going to be getting a new bookshelf soon. Um, and the final one for the already out and haven't purchased them yet is Raging Sea by Michael Buckley, which is undertow number two. So I will eventually purchase that, but not right now. Or I might see if my library has it. They probably do at this point. Last time I checked, they didn't. I was very annoyed. So... Moving into March. On March 8th, one of my very excited, anticipated reads comes out, and that is Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, which is the first book in the Dark Artifices series, the sequel series to the Mortal Instruments. I know I still need to read City of Heavenly Fire at this point, but I will get it done before the 8th. Also coming out on March 8th is Rebel of the Sands by Alan Hamilton. Luckily, I don't have to choose because I have an arc of this book. I'm so excited. My review will be coming out on Thursday, this Thursday. So look forward to that. So moving into April, and I'm sorry I had to move my book, my notebook closer to me because I forgot to wear my glasses. Wait a second. There we go. They were behind my camera. Uh, coming out in April now. The first book I have comes out... Well, actually, all of my books in April come out on April 5th. There we go. The first one being Envisioned by Sherilyn Kenyon. This is the seventh book in the Chronicles of Nick series. And this is the book that I am definitely for sure purchasing the day it comes out. I am going to hold off on the other two because first off I don't own any books by these authors. These ones I have borrowed from the library and it's Sherilyn Kenyon and I own every single Chronicles of Nick book. I need this book. 
the second one that is coming out on that day is Lady Renegades by Rachel Hawkins. This is the third book in the Rebel Bell series. I have borrowed both of those from my library, so I'm probably just going to end up trying to borrow this from my library. More than likely. And the third book that comes out that day is The Haters by Jesse Andrews. And the only reason I want to read this is because I read Me and Earl and the Dying Girl and loved it. So, moving into Mar May. Moving into May. It is like 11 o'clock at night, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, coming out on May 3rd is three... Four different books that I want. Yeah. The first would be The Crown by Kira Cass. Of course I'm going to get that the day it comes out. I can't help it. The selection series is amazing. But also coming out on that day is The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Ade. Wrath of the Dawn. Where is it? Wrath of the Dawn. Might have to buy that one the day it comes out too. I hope I have a job by this point. Because the third one coming out that day is A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Moss, which is like queen number three for me. I have three overall queens, and they are Lee Bardugo, Sarah J. Moss, and Rainbow Rowell. Yeah, I need to read everything they've read. Yeah, no, I, I, I know, I, I haven't caught up with the Sword of Glass series yet. <laughs> but the fourth book that comes out that day is The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. This is the start of his new series, The Trials of Apollo, which takes place in the Percy Jackson world. As always. And I love the Percy Jackson world. So, moving on to May 10th. One of the books that comes out is Every Exquisite Thing by Matthew Quick. This is a book that I read a preview for and I just really enjoyed it, so I would like to read the whole thing. Another one is Highly Illogical Behavior by John Corey Whaley. Again, read a preview, really want to read the whole thing. Moving on is May... I keep getting March and May confused. May 17th, which is The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. Read a preview for it. Really want to read the whole thing. Moving on to May 24th now. The first one I have is The Progeny by Tosca Lee. I had read a preview for this, but I have an arc of this, and that preview will be that review will be coming up sometime this month more likely I did not see a thing on their neck alley site saying that I had to wait a certain amount of days so I'm just gonna put it up um, but also coming out on that day is Return to the Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz which is the book two in the Descendant series very excited about that, but the book I am most excited for, and I'm getting that day, is an early birthday present from my mother. I don't care what she says, she's buying me it. Is The Last Star by Rick Yancey, because I need that book. Like, I need it in my hands now, and I don't have it in my hands now. I need it. <laughs> so, moving on to June, which is my birthday month. If you guys didn't know, my birthday is on June 4th. Uh, yeah, be sure to wish me a happy birthday then, but coming out on June 7th is two different books, With Malice by Eileen Cook, again, I read a preview for it, enjoyed it, want to read the whole thing, and My Lady Jane by Brody Ashton, read a preview for it, <laughs> really want to read the whole thing. Coming out on June 26th is definitely my most anticipated read for June, and that is Halfway Hunted by Terry Magger. You guys have learned by now that I am a huge fan of his work after reading Halfway Dead and Halfway Bitten, and I have made it my goal to read all of his books that are on Kindle Unlimited now, so there we go. Oh, I lost my place. There we go. On June 28th, And I Darken by Kirsten White comes out. I read a preview for this and really enjoyed it. Yeah. 
So in July, there is only one book that I want to come out, and there it is the only book that really matters. It's the book we've been waiting how long for? Um, if I could get to my seventh book, I would grab it and find out for sure how long we've been waiting. Wait, wait, Goodreads. Okay, so we've been waiting pretty much nine years for this book to happen. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows came out on July 21st, 2007. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is coming out on July 31st, 2016. Finally, we get a sequel. Yeah. I really had to look that information up. I really needed to know that. I was 15 when the seventh book came out. I am... Wait, really? Was I 15? 2007. I was 16. I was 16 when Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows came out. I'm going to be 25 when Harry Potter and the Cursed Child comes out. That's crazy to think about, and I'm so happy we're getting it. Now, I know that the first one is going to be a kind of unedited. I don't know what it is. It's it's confusing to me. There's one book coming out the day after the premiere of the play. Then there's another book coming out later that's the same book but different. I don't know. I'll get both. Whatever. <laughs> so moving into August and these dates I don't know for sure after this point but these are the dates that I have last time I checked. August 2nd, two books come out that I really, really want. The first one being The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. This is the third book in the Remnant Chronicles, which I absolutely love. The other book that's coming out is Infinite Risk by Anna Guire, which of course is another book I absolutely love, which is The Immortal Game number three. Uh, I have both books in both of those series. So... Coming out on August 30th is two other books that I really, really want, which is A Torch Against the Night by Sabah Tahir. This is book two in An Ember in the Ashes. So excited about this book. But then also coming out is Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. I know I don't own them all yet, but I have read everything in the Shattered Me series, the novellas, everything. Love that series. I need more Tara Mafi. She is such an amazing writer, and I can easily picture her work. I love her. So, moving on to September. September 6th, we have the as of yet untitled Throne of Glass number 5 book. I do own all the Throne of Glass series, and by September 6th, I'll have read them all. I really only need to read one a month, and I'm good. Coming out on September 20th is Frost Like Night by Sarah Rosh. This is the third book in the Snow Like Ashes series, and my shoulder is hurting, which is why I'm not moving my arms anymore. But yeah, Snow Like Ashes number three. I'm very excited about this book, and I love the cover for it. So coming out on September 22nd is... Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. This is the second and final book in the Six of Crows duology. Very sad to see the Grisha world go for a little while, but very excited to read this book. And my mom is pretty PO'd about this book already because we both know something's going to happen to make us piss. <laughs> We're going to be upset about something in this book. It's just the way Lee is. <laughs> We love it. So, moving on to September 27th, we have Strange the Dreamer by Lady Taylor. This is book one in her new series, titled the same thing as the first book. Um, I know I do have a lot of problems with Lady Taylor, with the way she writes and the slowness, but I do love her writing still, and I th am going to give this new series a shot. Loved Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I ended up enjoying the last two books in that trilogy, but at the same time they were very slow and hard-paced for me to read, but I'm gonna try. <clears throat> also coming out on September 27th is 
Like a River Glorious by Ray Carson. This is the second book in the Gold Seer trilogy. I'm excited about this book. Like, seriously, I loved Walk Out as a Stranger, and I am not one for westerns. This was amazing. Loved that book. So yeah, I have to flip the page. That's how many books I have. So moving on to October. October 4th is when the second book in the Magnus Chase and the Gods of Ar Asgard, Asgard, Asgard series comes out and that is going to be titled The Hammer of Thor by Rick Riordan. So yeah, I'm excited. I love that series, you guys. I love it already. Coming out on October 10th and October 11th and this one is going to be tough for me because my goddaughter's birthday is October 9th. My mom's birthday is October 15th. I'm going to have no money and I'm still going to have to buy this. But that is going to be The Midnight Star by Marie Lu. This is the third book in the Not Elite series and I need it. I need it now, but I can't get it now. <laughs> and the final book coming out in October is Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. That is the second book in the Illuminae Files, and it is coming out on October 18th. Three days after my mom's birthday. Technically two days. No, three days. October 15th is her birthday. Yeah. I'm not amused. Change your birthday, Mom. <laughs> so, moving on to November is my last two books. The first one being Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I mean, come on, Alice in Wonderland retelling by the best ever reteller. I'm, I'm sorry to anyone else who's done retellings. I mean, I love the Wrath of the Dawn series. I, I just dropped my wolf. I have a Minecraft wolf down there. But I love The Wrath of the Dawn. I love other re retellings. But The Lunar Chronicles beats all. And now we're getting a standalone Alice in Wonderland. I'm excited. The final book that is coming out, as far as I know, obviously this could change coming later into the year. But I'm not doing another one of these videos because 20 minutes. I mean, I've been recording for 20 minutes. This is going to get edited down. There's some stupid stuff in here, trust me. But the final book I have is... Oh, did I say when that was coming out? That's coming out on November 8th. I probably did. Whatever. The final book that I have for this video is Tales from the Shadow Hunters Academy by Cassandra Clare. I was so worried that this was not going to be released this year because we didn't have a definite date. And then the last time I checked, we finally had a definite date of November 15th. I'm excited. Like, come on. I need this book. So, yeah. But, yeah. That is all for this video. This is a long, long video, and I need to go because my battery is dying. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Because you were born with mischief in your eyes.